Hello everyone, welcome to this Get Ready With Me live chat here on YouTube. My name is Miss Cakers, you can call me Ruth. And before everything else, I would like to greet everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope that you guys had a really nice celebration of Christmas Day. And if you did, comment down below if you had a really nice Christmas. And yeah, I just want to check in with you guys. So right now, I'm getting ready for a class. Um, today is the last day of my master class uh, live session at 3 o'clock. So I'm going to be getting ready with you guys. <laughs> and by 3 o'clock, I'm going to be out and going to be teaching the class. Okay. So um, what I did in my face is I just moisturized. I, I just took a bath and <laughs> moisturized my face. But now... We are going to get ready for the class. So I always like to look nice, you know, when I'm facing my class because you're teaching people how to be a flight attendant. And if I look like this, no one's going to believe me. <laughs> no one's going to believe that I became a flight attendant before. But yeah, I would like to say hello to everyone who's here. Alicia Gautam, hey. Alicia JL, hello. Um, Karishma Takur, hi. Jenny Tutang, hi. And Jyoti Pundir, hello everyone. Thanks for being here. And Merry Christmas to you all. Happy holidays. I hope that you're having a wonderful holiday. So I'm going to start uh, my uh, makeup with a concealer. So I'm using this Clio Kill, Kill Cover Clio Concealer. Oops, fell down. <laughs> So me. So I will just use this under my eyes and all over my um uh what do you call this? Uh pimple spots <laughs> or something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna use it here. I have lots of pimples coming out. Yeah, here we go. Alright, here with here, here on the nose, and here. So, I missed you so much, guys. I'm so sorry if I'm not as active, but I have a lot of videos coming up. Hopefully, by next year, I'll be able to do everything. <laughs> yeah, I plan to do a lot more beauty videos and uh, story time videos about being a flight attendant. Okay, so let me just read your comments. Karishma Takur, wish you the same, my inspiration. Oh, thank you. Asan Hill, hi, K Chris. Merry Christmas. Your, vi your videos really bring a lot of changes. Really? I really hope so, Ashan. <laughs> thank you so much. So I'm just going to use my blender blush to blend my concealer on my face. Okay. So, uh, I'm really glad that the videos are helping you guys on your journey to becoming a flight attendant. Because it's my dream. I really want to be an inspiration to you guys. Because when I was applying myself, it was so hard to find inspiration, especially if you're like doubting yourself so much. You're like asking yourself questions like, should I give up or should I <laughs> try again? You know, I really wish during my time about 10 years ago, that uh, 11 years ago, that somebody was there to tell me that I should not give up on my dreams. I should, I should go and work for it if I really want to be a flight attendant. And then I just needed somebody to tell me that I can do it. I have what it takes, okay? So I hope that through this channel, this YouTube channel, that's my message for you guys. I hope you don't give up on your dreams. I would like to tell you that you have what it takes. All the things that you need to do, others, like how to answer the interview questions and things like that. I try to provide it on this channel so that you won't you won't ask yourself again, nah, maybe I can't do it. <laughs> because if I have provided you with, you know, the knowledge and share my experience with you guys, I hope that you'll be inspired to go for your dreams also. Because guys, I, you know what? There's nothing more fulfilling than having your dream come true in this life. Really, real talk. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so I just finished my concealer. This is the Kill, Co Kill Cover Clio Concealer. It's a little bit white, but that's okay. Because I am a little bit acidic. And this will turn... This will turn darker later. 
So after my concealer, uh, I'm just gonna do a simple makeup today because uh, I am going to teach my class. Like I said, I'm gonna teach my final class, the master class. Uh, it's called the Ready for Takeoff Master Class, and it's the same title as my book, Ready for Takeoff book. So my online class is called Ready for Takeoff Master Class. As well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bake my under eye. I'm just using this uh, Laura Mercier, okay? And uh, this is nice if you want to make sure that your eyes doesn't look older or, yeah. And also when you do your eyeshadow, it will fall down on the powder and not on your skin. So I'm just gonna bake my eyes like that. Yes. Thanks for being here, everyone. I hope you are having a great afternoon. Let me just read some comments. Uh, Pooja Deshmukh says, Hi, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Pooja. And um, Muhammad Sabdab, Ma'am, can I use hair color in interview? Yes, you can have your hair color as long as it looks natural on you. It doesn't look like too like different than your skin tone right as long as it's close to your skin tone <laughs> patricia isabel hi miss k chris and well well man say mickey mouse yeah i have my mickey mouse <laughs> headband this is actually reverse headband i just want to put it here because i want to put my hair you know away while i do my makeup okay the next thing that we're gonna do guys is we're gonna do my we're gonna do my eyebrows right so let me just check because my eyebrow thing is not here oh it's here so i'm using the anastasia uh dip brow pomade and um this anastasia brush number 14 for my um for my eyebrows like that okay so i was hoping to answer a few questions while i'm doing a chat with you guys and while i'm doing my makeup for my class but hold on, let me just do my eyebrows. So the first thing I do is I focus on the underneath. Just put a line. So if you can see, I don't have eyebrows here. <laughs> it's so different than the other. Oh, what happened? But so yeah, I just focus there. And I have to create my whole eyebrow on this side of my face. Just put a line like that. Okay, And then we fill it up. Yes, we fill it up like that. This is on the shade, ano pala? Brown. Dark brown. On the shade, dark brown. Okay. Right. Just have to clean up this part. I don't know why it's dirty. So how are your Christmases, guys? Did you enjoy your Christmas celebration? I hope that you guys enjoyed your celebration with your family. Because once you become a flight attendant, it's kind of hard to get to go home. Uh, sure, you can still go home and spend Christmas with your family once you're a flight attendant. But you have to uh, apply for that leave. And everybody's like, everybody who's Christian is applying for that leave. Same way for Muslims. They all apply for the... Um, what do you call this? For the end of Ramadan leave, for the Eid leave. So everybody's like trying. So out of like, for example, five years experience of working as a flight attendant, some of my friends out of five years of working as a flight attendant, some of them get the Christmas leave only once. <laughs> okay, so it's not all the time that you could spend Christmas. That's also one of the things that you would miss once you start flying. You don't get to spend the holidays with the family. But that's all right, you know. That's part of the territory of being a flight attendant. It's just like being a doctor or a nurse. You don't really get to have holidays. You are still going to be working during those days. Oh, no, I ruined my eyebrow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, um, Vibwahari Sawan says, Please suggest good answers for why cabin crew. Why cabin crew? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> right? Why not? Why not become a cabin crew? I don't really get the, the question. It's incomplete. Why cabin crew what? 
I don't I don't really get the question. So I'm gonna do my other eyebrows here. It's really easy once you get used to it, you know, makeup. It's gonna be like second nature. But my second nature is <laughs> it's not so good right now. Okay. But yeah, that's me doing my eyebrows on the left side. Muhammad says, after a long, you are doing video on YouTube. It's so huge thing for me, ma'am. I want also men's grooming video. Yeah, I really hope that I could do men's grooming video. But as you can see, I'm not a man. It's kind of hard for me. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on with you guys. But, you know, as a cabin crew, I know, like, uh, men, uh, as a cabin crew, they're not allowed to go to work if they have a beard. So cabin crews, they really shave every single time that they go to work. Some people they like they lay, put a la they put a laser on it <laughs> so that it won't grow anymore. But not necessarily. I know a lot of cabin crew, they the way they want to maintain their body is just you know taking care of their of their diet. A lot of them is on oatmeal diet that's why i remember some of my cabin crew friends and most of them like go to the gym so they're really like good looking guys and they really have really nice body so that's my eyebrows guys i don't know okay so after the eyebrows i want to do my i want to do my eyeshadow so Vibuhari Sawant, answer for why you want to be cabin crew. So I just I just did a one on one coaching for this girl from Rome. Her name is Anna, and uh, she asked me that question, and I coached her. I told her that the way you answer this question is um, it's okay to tell a story about you know your dream like you always wanted to be a cabin crew since you were a kid but you have to keep it short okay and then uh, focus your answer why you want to become a cabin crew focus more your answer on the different skills that you have like for example I would say I want to be a cabin crew because uh, I have a passion for customer service you know those are one of my famous videos and i'm just recycling my answer but i'm fitting into the question where why you want to be a cabin crew you could say that because of my passion for customer service i think this is the best place for me to uh work uh to work in that field the customer service field yeah i also want to you could say different skills that you have i also love working with different types of people and it excites me to work with people from different nationalities and uh, having a multicultural working for a multicultural company like yours would be a dream come true things like that hi dad so i'm doing my eyebrows i mean eyeshadow so i'm just using this um Maybelline blush nudes and I'm using this color this dark brown color so I'm just using my hands because I don't have my brush over here. It's on my other drawer <laughs> So yeah, I want to do this dark color on the outer side, but I'm going to blend it out Yeah, so when you answer that question, you should you should be focused more on what you can give to the table, right? What can you offer the airline? Um, I want to be a cabin crew because I would I really believe that my gifts, you know, my skills and my gifts and my experience will be in a good use as in a job as a cabin crew like for example my people skills my customer service skills and if you know different languages you know me knowing different languages would be easier for me to communicate with passengers things like that so some people will you know the common trap is you will say i want to be cabin crew because i want to travel the world for free i want to <laughs> get allowances in different hotels around the world and you know work and have fun at the same time obviously that's the wrong answer but we all know that we want to do that right 
<laughs> but in an interview, you have to keep it professional and you have to keep it like a business, you know, a transaction-like uh, kind of thing. Like, this is what you're going to get. Because if you just show them, you told them that I want to get, get, get from your company and you're going to be seen as somebody who doesn't know how to give and who just wants to get things from other people. And, you know, so focus your answer on what you can give what you can give and the service, you know, because that's really the work. Even though it's true that it's a perk that you get to shop around the world, you get to uh, visit different places, have fun with gorgeous people, <laughs> you know, and meet a lot of um, eligible <laughs> husband material. <laughs> um, even though that, that's true and it's happening all the time, you don't want to tell the recruiter that, right? You don't want to tell them that because you don't want to tell them that that's all the reason that you want to do. And also, if that's your only reason you want to be a flight attendant, you will get burned out so fast because the job is so demanding. It is, especially when you, when you can't sleep every day at night. Your sleeping pattern is like forever screwed up, so... You will get burned out, like burned out, like your body will not be able to um, cope with the changes and the demands of the work. It's so unglamorous, guys. The perks are really glamorous, I agree, but the job itself is not really glamorous. It's a lot of work. It's like comparable to a Haribo working in the field. <laughs> and at the same time, you have to look awesome, <laughs> which is kind of challenging. Right. I don't have my lip balm. Oh, this is so sad. But I'm just gonna do my my lips. So I'm using this Kiko uh, lip liner from Milan. Yeah, it's been a long time. From Muhammad Sadab says she he says. Uh, you know, ma'am, you notice that your videos get less views compared to your previous videos. It's humbly request to you, please, please don't stop making videos because it's a really big thing for me. <laughs> Thank you. You know what, Mohammed? The reason that I, I'm not making a lot more videos is because I've been busy with life. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's been um like I have this class uh, and uh, I'm focusing on them, of course, because those are my students. And even though when I was still flying as a flight attendant, I don't really produce a lot of videos on this channel. Just do it out of my of my love for for my advocacy for helping other people who was in the same shoes as me before. So sometimes I will make videos once a month, and because I was working full time as a flight attendant, and now that I have uh, quit my job and I'm a full time mom, <laughs> and I have another channel which is I'm like doing the vlog must thing, and there's so many things that could happen in life, but I always always come back. To this channel because this is my advocacy this is where i want to inspire other people this is where i feel like you people need me so i'm here for you <laughs> so i'm i'm really doing this out of um love and out of the you know out of the the bare reason that uh if I could help my old self, this is the way that I could do it. <laughs> so all of you guys who have been the same position as me as before, I want to help you guys. But the thing is, I can't promise um, to be always doing videos, though I really want to. I'm going to try better this 2019 to make more videos for you. Because, um, yeah, uh, because, you know, doing YouTube, uh, you know that it's really not going to pay a lot. <laughs> Honestly, you know, real talk here. It's not going to pay a lot for people. Uh, I'm just doing it because I really like doing it. And also, I have to prioritize some clients who are paying me for, for my time. They want me to coach them during their interviews here in the Philippines. And also, I have my students from my online class. So if you want to go and check out my online class, it's currently closed right now because I'm doing my second batch. But it's going to open next year. So you can check it out on my website. Uh, the details are there, misscakers.com. Um, maybe you could uh, you could sign for the waiting list or something like that. 
because uh, it's not yet open right now. So I will send out an email or I will tell you guys on the social media if I'm going to open my class again. But yeah, uh, because, see, my, because my class is an eight-week program, so all of my time is like focused on that. Uh, we're doing live classes and we have like assignments. So yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry if I can't do a lot of videos here. Okay, so I'm doing my lipstick now. I'm using this uh, Milano Kiko Milano uh, dark pink color. It's number 314. Okay, I'm going to do this lip. Yeah. It's nice to have a lip liner on your lip so that your lips will stay longer. And you could have a really nice shape. For your lips yeah also by the way guys just life updates i might be moving out of manila very soon because we bought a property somewhere in the north so we're gonna have or we're building a house <laughs> so we're gonna build a house very soon for our family and we just wish us luck guys so we're gonna be moving to another city i'll be vlogging it on my other channel it's called mommy ruth because my real name is ruth katrina ruth but uh, miss k chris i created that channel when i was still a flight attendant and uh, if you know some of you are already flight attendants you know that you have this contract that you really can't tell the public that you work there or something like that. So anyways, the rules way before, you know, way before today, it's so strict. So we're not actually, we're actually not allowed to, to do YouTube. So I have to make a different, a different name. So that's why it's called Miss K. Chris. Okay, so now I'm using this lipstick from Vice Cosmetics. It's called Chanelin in the shade Chanelin. Yeah. I'm just looking at here. Okay. So that's my lipstick. And I think my, my big... My baking is now baked, so I'm going to remove it now. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to put on eyeliner. So I'm just using this Ultimate Kajal Eyeliner from Lakme. Okay, so I'm using this on my eyes. And now I'm gonna do my liquid eyeliner on the top. So I'm using the BLK Cosmetics um, Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner. Pen. It's like a pen, so easy to use. So just put it over here. And I'm gonna use it on my other eyes. Okay, thank you, eyeliner gods. My eyeliner is perfect. <laughs> it's not as perfect, but at least it's okay now. All right, I'm gonna stop now <laughs> because I might overdo it. 
That's my eyeliner. Okay. And now, I'm gonna use blush on. So, this is my MAC uh, blush on in the shade Dame. River broke it. So, the glass is gone. So, I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks. A little color on our cheeks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So you have to put this on your cheekbones. Mm -hmm. That. So I'm gonna put it here also on my a little bit of contour because <laughs> I don't want to do a real contouring because I'm just gonna be teaching my class today, right? And I also like using this um, Elf baked highlighter. I already broke it also, <laughs> but this one is in Moonshine. Just put some highlighter here. And here. And here. Can't have too much highlighter. Oops, my alarm is up. That means I have to get ready for my class. So I'm almost done. I just need the mascara. So for that, I'm going to use my Shi um eyelash curler, like that. And the other um, I think that's it. And I'm using the Maybelline Magnum Big Shot Mascara. And I'm going to do it also for my lower lashes. Okay. By the way, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. We are now 50,000 strong subscribers. Thank you so much. It's such, I can't believe it. I was just doing these videos on my day off before when I was still a flight attendant and I didn't really plan on becoming a YouTuber. <laughs> but you guys have been such a blessing to me. Thank you so much for being here and watching my videos and liking and commenting on them. I know I'm not as active as before, but I do read all your comments and I take note of your suggestions, what type of videos you want to see on the next ones. Okay. Right, so I guess we're done. We're good. Okay, so this is my makeup look for my class today. <laughs> I know it's not professional, but yeah, I'm doing the best that I can do with what we have. <laughs> Okay, so of course I'm gonna remove this Mickey Mouse headband because we need to look professional. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. It's my hair. I just put my hair down like that. And I'm ready to teach my class. Today I'm gonna teach my class about um, the spiritual preparation that we need to go through for our preparing for our interview and the spiritual preparation it consists of like how do you have that x factor for the recruiters how do you stand out using your spiritual preparation how do you have the energy and we also will be talking about the power of prayer and visualization for getting this dream job as a flight attendant okay and i am again Thank you again for everybody who's buying my book. 
the Ready for Takeoff book. It's still available. You can check it out on my website on misskateris.com. You could order it. We ship internationally. And it's also available in Shopee. And yeah, uh, for everybody who wants to join my next class, just stay tuned and uh, stay tuned on social media and on my website on this or also on this uh, channel because I will announce if we are ready to accept for uh, batch three of students for the Ready for Take of Masterclass. And yeah, I just want to show you guys, I'm so excited. I bought this um, goodies. It's just going to be my prices for for my class i'm gonna show them today because every week we have a fly venture challenge that means i challenge them every week so that they will become better prepared for their interview and the the people or the student who is most active or is called the go-getter of that you know the go-getter uh student for that batch will win this lipstick from vice Canada. this is a lip kit this have a uh lip liner and uh i think it has a li velvet liquid lipstick as well and i'm gonna give them this blk i just find this really cute this is travel inspired it's um uh, it's a lipstick but it's a travel size lipstick in uh paris and la paris is a red lipstick and la is a pink one it's so cute so pretty and i'm gonna give this um basic a beauty blender for them you know to help them when they are already flying or when they're applying for the job as a flight attendant i just chose to use these items because if i buy them foundation maybe it won't fit them or something like that so yeah this is so cute so good luck to my students i hope that the go-getter of the batch you know loves it once they they get their prices Okay, so before I sign off, I have to go now to the class. Uh, it's so nice to hang out with you. I really miss you. I do have a video coming up for this channel. It's going to be called uh, Lessons That Every Aspirant Can Learn from the Miss Universe Catriona. <laughs> so I've been writing down the stuff that I want to teach you guys. Um, some lessons that we can learn from the recent uh, Miss Universe win and each and every flight attendant aspirant can learn from her and apply it hopefully becoming their own version of Miss Universe in the skies as a flight attendant too right so I'm excited for that video I'm gonna film it very soon I'm sorry guys it's been taking a long time but very soon it's coming out on this channel so I'm gonna just read the the, the messages before I sign off and uh go and you know send you off in a good way <laughs> okay so i'm gonna read the messages okay uh so okay so we stopped here at muhammad sadab this is smiley and then there's a character chinese character or japanese character saying i just attended the qatar Airways interview i watched your video and prepared it helps me a lot although i didn't pass in the end <laughs> oh i'm so sorry to hear that just want to say thank you well thank you so much for watching my video and i hope that you learned something and i hope that next time you will get your qatar airways i know um ticket to be a flight attendant already so good luck never stop believing in yourself and just try again next time okay just improve on your skills and try again next time all right lawrence youtube channel says cute um baby shark message retracted <laughs> muhammad you are looking so pretty thank you Puja Deshmukh, congratulations. Uh, North Manila is my favorite place. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm moving. I'm actually looking forward to moving maybe next year. So if you want to know about that, you could watch my vlogs. I do vlogs on my other channel. It's called Mommy Ruth. That's where I I film my everyday life. <laughs> Somehow everyday life. Me and Baby River's life. So yeah. All right. Um, Muhammad Sadab, thank you, mom. Zai Zai. Hi, Miss K. Chris. Hello, Zai Zai. Mohammed Sadab, thank you so much. And um, something, something in Thai. Miss K. Chris, like you. Thank you. Okay. Baby Shark says, 
I don't have any job experience. How can I look like experienced person and convince them to get me for this job? So if you're a fresh graduate, I have a video about this. You can check it out here on the YouTube channel. If you're a fresh graduate, you could just tell them that uh, even though you're a fresh graduate, you have skills. So what are the skills that you learn in school? Maybe you are a president or maybe you are part of a sports team while you're working. Uh, maybe you had some awards as a student, like for example, you are a Dean's Lister or you're a valedictorian in high school. So you could tell them, I have good uh, time management skills. As you can see in my resume, I graduated as a valedictorian. That means that I was able to balance my studies and extracurricular activities uh, at the same time. So I think it's a good skill as becoming a flight attendant also. And um, yeah, not just because you are new and a fresh graduate doesn't mean that you can't get a job. I know a lot of people who get this job as their first time job. It's all about like positioning yourself. You can say that I I am willing to learn. I am friendly and enthusiastic. Yeah, something like that. Anything that you could say that fits the flight attendant job and uh, anything that you have. Because it's not just about experience. Sometimes it's about your personality uh you can say that i fit this job because i have an outgoing personality or you could say that i fit this job because um while i was working uh while i was studying i was working at a fast food chain part-time so out there i learned all about the value of hard work all about uh, managing your time and studies same time you know so it's not the end of the world you could there are so many ways that you could sell yourself to the recruiter from the from the sports team that you join, from the part time jobs that you join, from the different you know things that you have achieved in school, and your personality, your eagerness to learn, your youth, you know. <laughs> so it's all about you selling yourself. So learn more about selling yourself. You can Google that. You can search that on YouTube. You can find a lot of stuff about that. So yeah, with that, we are going to end this live Get Ready With Me session. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for being here. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all. And I will fly with you soon. Bye.